Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on S3. Now, this after Best Competition Reality Show nomination conversation continues because right now we're being joined by the Tropica Marketing Manager, Miantha Roo. Miantha, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good uh, morning and a ah. huge congratulations from us here in the studio. What an incredible nomination <laughs> for Tropica. Island of Treasure, Curacao. Uh, how are you feeling? Well, I really feel um, overwhelmed. This is the ninth season that we did of Island of Treasure. Um, and I think it's one of our best. So it's no surprise that we've been nominated, but um, it's been long waiting. After nine seasons, I think we definitely deserve this. And the show is world-class, so it's um, very applicable. But there's no doubt about it, yeah. Miantha, because Tropica Island of Treasure seemingly is very much loved by its SABC3 viewers. What sets the series apart from any other competition reality shows that we're seeing out there? I think the main thing that sets it apart, firstly, is that we've taken ordinary South Africans who are Tropica consumers, they're everyday people. We've taken the top celebrities in South Africa and we've paired them together. And, you know, that's something very unique where um, ordinary South Africans get to be with their mentors, people who they look up to, and they get to compete with each other, get to know each other on a different level. And should they win, they get to share a prize worth one million rand. So that really is something that sets it apart in terms of the type of show. Mm. And then other than that, you know, really this, the show is um, shot overseas, as you know, and um, the, the production quality of it is really world class. It's, um, it's better than most of um, the other shows I've seen in terms of just uh, how we've shot it, the way we've shot it. And um, it's something that we're really excited for South Africa to have seen. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, I can definitely agree with you. And I said, is world class. Some of the imagery that you see from the show itself, it's just so visually stimulating. Mm. You're showcasing so much beauty in the area that you're at. And at the same time, it's one of the few seasons in South Africa that is actually filmed overseas. So, I mean, I mean, it looks like a dream, but I got to ask you firsthand, what is it like filming in Curacao right in the middle of the Caribbean? It was absolutely amazing. You know, Curacao set the perfect background um, for the show. It is not only has does it have pitch, picturesque beaches, which are absolutely stunning, but it also is Dutch inspired in terms of the town. And many of the buildings are, um, are, are Dutch inspired in terms of the architecture and it's very colorful. Um, all the buildings are painted in different pastel colors. So it's something very unique, not only offering the most beautiful beaches and island um, a scenery, but also this picturesque town, which is a small, uh, almost like a small city. And um, in the show, we not only feature, you know, those picturesque beaches, but also uh, the city where a lot of the challenges actually also happen in. And you know what? Raul was right to say it is such a visual experience, a rich one at that. Uh, this year, uh, or I suppose this past season, this last one that we've seen, was very unique because you had half of it filmed on the island uh, and the reunion was being adapted to COVID-19 regulations, which is a big twist, right? Unprecedented, never seen before, never done before. Tell us about how that grand finale uh, sort of played out. Yeah, so when we initially filmed the show, we filmed it before COVID-19 had, uh, had uh, broken out. And so it, we were able to film perfectly. And then we wanted to integrate the show into a reunion episode as well. So have the finale in Curacao where Team Cool Red came out the ultimate champions. And then when we tried to plan the, uh, the reunion show, um, COVID had happened. So we thought, how are we going to get around this? So we um, were allowed to bring in the winning team. So Cool Red came into studio, but we made use of technology and that was through Zoom calling like I'm doing right now. And we were able to get all our contestants on Zoom as well as have um, our winners in studio. So it was something very unique um, at the time, but we made the most of what we could do to pull off a really awesome finale. 
And it was uh, genius because Zoom calls weren't as popular for TV shows to do. So that, honestly, I take my hat off to you guys. It was fantastic, <laughs> honestly. Definitely. Yeah, Mianthi, we can't thank you enough for joining us. And I think from Tabs, myself, everybody in the studio, Mzanzi as well, we want to say congratulations to both you and the Cordova production team on this, what has to be an incredible achievement, just hearing everything that you had to go through. And of course, Mzanzi, you guys at home need to make sure that you follow all the news and use that hashtag SAFTAS as we celebrate the top South African and talent and shows coming up this morning. Yeah, get those tweets through to us. Hashtag SAFTAS 2021. <laughs>